It is that time of the year when iStart organizes the year in review seminars for each of the professional interest areas or PIAs. The first one of 2024 was indeed a very early one, taking place on the 4th of January, and it was the turn of the Biofluid Based Biomarkers PIA. As a researcher in fluid biomarkers with the expertise in frontotemporal dementia, I was asked to prepare the main presentation, a challenging but very fun task of collecting and reading the most important papers published in the field in 2023. For those who are not familiar with the year in review seminars or how they work, they consist of 30-minute presentation from an early career researcher covering the highlights of the field in the year in review, followed by a panel discussion from experts. This year, the seminar was organized by Anna Pereira and Janaika Hoc-Ahin. The panel of experts was formed by Jeffrey Date, Marta del Campo, Suzanne Schlinder and Henrik Satterberg. The session, moderated by Yutiva Robles and I, Aitana Sogorbesteve, was the presenter. The topics to discuss are often chosen by the presenter with the help from survey responders. The survey aims to identify which are the most important topics that have come up in the year, as well as the key publications regarding those topics. For the year 2023, the topics selected for the presentation and discussion were three main themes, proteomic studies, plasma biomarkers, and CD amplification assays for proteins, such as alpha-synuclein and TDP43, characteristic of Parkinson's disease and frontotemporal dementia, or FTD. We all agreed to define 2023 as the era of proteomics, over 500 research articles were published in the field of proteomics in dementia. We have seen great advances in proteomic studies in cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, not only for Alzheimer's disease, but also for other types of dementias, as for example, the paper published by Marta del Campo about dementia with Lewy bodies. But we have also seen great highlights about cross-tissue proteomics, as well as the so-called large-scale plasma proteomics, with a specific article in ALS Forum, from where we have learned the information we can obtain from comparing plasma with brain and CSF, as well as the key contribution of the use of panels of biomarkers, in combination with canonical biomarkers, instead of those canonical biomarkers alone. Most of the discussion focused then on plasma biomarkers. 2023 has been the year of phosphorylated tau, especially phospho tau 217. There have been several studies evaluating the performance of plasma P tau 217 to predict tau and amyloid deposition, and in the trial blazer trial for donanemab, plasma P tau 217 was used as exploratory outcome measure showing decreased levels with the drug administration. The discussion nonetheless focused more on the implementation of blood tests in clinical practices, with the point made by the panelists about the expenses of the tests available right now, and how the effort to implement those in clinical practices around the world will indeed decrease those expenses. It is very important as well to keep in mind the expertise of the GP to evaluate and interpret the results from such blood tests and the importance of looking at those results in the context of each patient. It seems that for a full implementation of blood tests in GP practices, there is still a need of either further training for the GPs or specialized clinics for that. Another important point regarding the blood test is the need of having a real-world picture of their performance. And this was indeed a point some of the panelists highlighted as the main development they would like to see in 2024. Big studies about real-world implementation of blood biomarkers for dementia as well as information on diverse populations. Finally, the eyes are set on the finger peak and remote testing for 2024. 
This will be something to look for in the next year in the field of plot-based biomarkers, in which some development in extraction techniques, pre-analytical parameters and the implementation of new more sensitive technologies to measure biomarkers will make a big step. The last pending subject from 2023 was the studies of fluid biomarkers in non-AD dementias. Looking at protein deposition assays such as alpha synuclein and TDP43 seeding assays, but also to proteomic studies in this type of pathologies. The, adma- the advancements on the technologies, sensitivity and big cohorts, as well as the use of extracellular vesicles, will be as well an important highlight that panelists anticipated to happen in 2024. So overall, researchers in the biofluid-based biomarkers field are looking forward to the excitements that 2024 will bring. We will expect to see many more proteomic studies in CSF, plasma, but other biofluids and especially in other non-AD dementias, resulting in panels of proteins that could help with the differential diagnosis of dementias. We are also looking forward to results of high-performing blood tests in real-world assets and diverse populations that could be key not only for early diagnosis but also to better understand and monitor the clinical trials taking place. We will keep a close look at the advancements in remote testing and the finger prick devices and tests being developed and validated as we speak. And finally, we will expect exciting results from the field of extracellular vesicles and the development of assays to detect pathogenic forms of proteins such as alpha synuclein and TDP43 to detect non-AD pathologies. 2024 looks like a very exciting year for the field of fluid biomarkers.